Hi, this is Thomas LaFoe from the Instructional Media Center, and in this tutorial we'll look at creating a clipping mask that will show an image through some text. There are a number of ways to accomplish this same effect, but in this case we will focus on the specific ways you can use the clipping mask feature to adjust the ways images can be shown through text. In this tutorial we'll be using Adobe Photoshop CS3, but many of the same steps will also apply in later versions of Photoshop. To begin, we're going to create a new file by going to File, New, and I'm going to select just the default Photoshop size. Click OK. And now we're ready to insert our image that we'll use as the background of our text. We're going to use the File Place option here. So we'll go to File, Place, and then we'll place the option or the picture that we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use this background of just a wall of bricks. When you use the File Place option, Photoshop actually links this picture and this layer back to the original image. So once you place this image, you can use your sizing tools. Here we have the free transform tool. When sizing an image, you want to make sure that you hold down the shift key. Notice here I can stretch it out and up and down, but if I hold shift, it keeps this in proportion so that I don't stretch the bricks. I'm going to size this down just a little bit, and then you can hit enter on your keyboard to accept these changes, or click this green check mark here at the top. Once you have the bricks layer in place, you can use your move tool and then center this here on our image. Now we're ready to add our text. So I'm going to grab the text tool. And for your text, you want to use a font that's fairly bold and thick. In this case, I'm going to use Arial Black. And I'm going to start at 72 points. The color for your text does not matter, but you'll see that if you apply a color to this, so here I have an, a, mar a maroon color applied, I'm going to click OK and we'll see how that comes into play later. Now I want to click on my image. I'm going to start here at the left hand side of the bricks. I'm going to just type in the word bricks. When you've added your text, you have to accept your changes again, just like the free transform tool. So I can click this green check mark. And now I'm going to use my edit and free transform option to stretch this text a little bit and make it a little bit larger. With text, one of the great ways to use this free transform tool is you can hold down shift and notice that it keeps those letters in proportion to their original size. Or if you size it without shift, you can kind of stretch this, cre th this text across the image and get a little bit different shape out of that font. Again, press enter or click the green check mark when you're done. And now if you look here at your layers palette, you'll notice that you have your bricks layer, which is your text, and this other bricks layer, which is the image that you can see here. Now what I want to do is make sure that my text layer is underneath the bricks because we're going to use the text to knock out or um, filter this image to where just the bricks that are showing through the letters are seen. And to do this, you have to have the bricks layer, the image layer, on top of your text layer. And then for the bricks layer, again the image here, we're going to go to layer at the top, and then choose create clipping mask. What you will see is over here in your layers palette, you do have this little arrow here that tells you that this is grouped or clipped to match the text. And now in our image, we have both of those showing. or We have the, te we have the bricks showing through the lettering here. Now if I grab my Move tool, and again notice here at the top you have the option for Auto Select. We're going to leave that off for this point. On the bricks layer, if I use my Move tool and slide this out of the way, you'll notice that it's moving behind my letters. And any place that this image cuts off, like here in the middle of the C, 
you'll notice that I have the original color of that text showing through. I can bring this back to the other side and you see that it shows there as well. What I can also do, since these move independently of each other, is I can use my free transform tool, edit, free transform, or control T, and then I can actually size these bricks, again I'm going to hold down shift to keep this in proportion, so that I get a little bit more detail in my lettering. So you can adjust that to fit. You can also move this around and see how exactly you want those bricks showing through. And once you're done there, again with the free transform tool, press enter or click this check mark to accept your changes. Now once you're done with this text, if you're ready and you're committed to the way this looks, you can go ahead and flatten these two layers and it makes it just a little bit easier to copy this to a new image. To do that, I'm going to click on my bricks layer, the image layer, and then I'm going to hold down shift and click on the bricks layer, the text layer. Now what I want to do here is go back to my layer menu, and down at the bottom I have the option for merge layers. Now this moves as one solid object. You notice that both of those are now flattened into one layer. And with my move tool, I can move that around and place that where I need it. Now that this is set, if I do free transform, I can also shrink this down, keeping it in proportion by holding shift. That concludes this tutorial for creating a clipping mask. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. My phone number is 662-325-6781, or you can email me at tlafo at library.msstate.edu. For more immediate assistance, you can call the IMC at 662-325-7676.